coordinate geometry. Let us study the algebraic approach of geometry by studying it according to the Cartesian coordinate plane. A part of this you already studied in the previous standard. Now let us proceed further in the same topic. First of all, starting with distance formula. Distance between any two points, say P and Q, that is represented as simply PQ, or else it can be represented as D and inside the bracket P comma Q. That means the distance between points P and Q. Distance formula for two points if they are on x axis or else if their y coordinate is same, then how do we find out the distance between these two points? Supposing we are given points P, x1, 0 and Q, x2, 0 and obviously they are lying on x axis or else P is given to be x1, y and Q is given to be x2, y where that is uh, having the same y coordinate. Then the distance between these two points that is PQ is given to be the positive difference of their x coordinates that is modulus of x1 minus x2. Exactly the same way we can find out the distance formula for two points which are either on y axis or else if their x coordinates are same. If the points say P and Q that is 0 y1 and 0 y2 lie on y axis or else P is x y1 and Q is x y2 that means their x coordinate is same. Then the distance between these two points would be nothing but the positive difference of their y coordinates that is modulus of y1 minus y2. But both of these were situations where some specific conditions were given. Now, supposing no such specific condition is there. That means for any two points in the coordinate plane. Supposing in the given plane, the points P, X1, Y1 and Q, X2, Y2 are given to us. And I am expected to find out the distance between these two points that is P, X1, Y1 and Q, X2, Y2. For that, first of all, we would require the fit of perpendicular from point P and Q on X axis and let us call those points as M and N. That means M and N are nothing but the fit of perpendiculars from points P and Q on X axis. So obviously the coordinates of M and N are going to be X1, 0 whereas that of N is going to be X2, 0. That means M is X1, 0 and N is X2, 0. Where the distance MN would be modulus of X1 minus X2, the positive difference of their X coordinates. Same way let us draw perpendiculars, foot of perpendiculars from point P and Q on Y axis. Say they are R and S. That means R is the foot of perpendicular from P on Y axis. Whereas S is the foot of perpendicular from point Q on Y axis. So obviously the coordinates of R and S are going to be 0, Y1 and 0, Y2. That means R is 0, Y1 and R is S is 0, Y2. That means the distance between them, that is RS is nothing but modulus of Y1 minus Y2. Now, from point P, let us drop a perpendicular on line segment QS. That means P is the foot of perpendicular from point P on line segment QN. In order to find out the distance between P and Q, we shall apply the Pythagoras theorem for triangle QTP, where measure angle T is nothing but 90 degree. So PQ square is equal to PT square plus QT square. You know why? That is mainly because of the Pythagoras theorem. But PT square is exactly same as MN square. Whereas QT square is exactly same as RS square. And that is X1 minus X2 the whole square plus Y1 minus Y2 the whole square with their modulus sign. But we know that a square of a number can never ever be a negative number. So we can represent this as inside the small simple bracket X1 minus X2 the whole square plus Y1 minus Y2 the whole square. That means PQ will be nothing but the under root of X1 minus X2 the whole square plus y1 minus y to the whole square. 
So this is the general formula for finding out the distance between any two points P, x1, y1 and Q, x2, y2. Supposing some point is given A, x1, y1 and its distance from the origin that is 0, 0 is to be found out. Then we can find it out very simply by using the same formula that OA is going to be x1 minus 0 the whole square plus y1 minus 0 the whole square whole under root. And that is going to give us root of x1 square plus y1 square. What is the characteristic of the metric that is the distance between any two points? Distance between any two points say AB is always greater than or equal to 0. That means it is always, always and always a non-negative number. AB is 0 if and only if both the points A and B are exactly the identical points or else if A and B represent the identical points, then the distance between them is obviously 0. Distance between A and B is exactly same as distance between B and A. That means AB is equal to BA. Supposing A, X1, Y1, B, X2, Y2 and C, X3, Y3 are three given points in the coordinate plane. Distance between A and B plus distance between B and C will be greater than or equal to distance between A and C. Here the reference is given with respect to AB plus BC is greater than or equal to AC. But in fact the meaning is that sum of any two distances would be either greater than or equal to the third distance. That means AB plus BC is greater than or equal to AC. Now this is possible if A, B and C are collinear points then we would say that A dash B dash C and AB plus BC would be AC. If A, B and C are non-collinear points or else if they are collinear then either A is in between the other two that is B dash A dash C or C is between the other two that is A dash C dash B. Then in that case AB plus BC is always going to be greater than AC. So in short sum of any two distances for three given points in the coordinate plane would be either equal to or greater than the third distance. We are expected to find out the distance between A, 2, 3 and B, minus 3, minus 9. A, X1, Y1 is 2, 3 whereas B, X2, Y2 is minus 3, minus 9. We know that AB square is X1 minus X2 the whole square plus Y1 minus Y2 the whole square. So that is going to give us 2 minus minus 3 the whole square plus 3 minus minus 9 the whole square. 2 minus minus 3 is 5, so 5 square is 25. And 3 minus minus 9 is 3 plus 9, that is 12, and 12 square is 144. Addition is going to give us 169. That means AB square if is 169, AB is going to be 13. We have to show that P, Q and R are collinear where P is given to be 2 minus 1, Q is 1 minus 4 and 3 R is 3, 2. So, we have to show that these points are collinear. P, Q square, let us find out the by distance formula. And that was going to be 2 minus 1 the whole square plus minus 1 minus minus 4 that is minus 1 plus 4 the whole square. And that is 10. That means PQ is nothing but root 10. Similarly, let us find out QR square. That is 1 minus 3 the whole square plus minus 4 minus 2 the whole square. So that is 2 square that is 4 and 6 square that is 36. And that is going to give us 40. That means QR is going to be root 40. That is nothing but 2 root 10. Because 40 you know that is 4 tens are square root of 4 is 2. So 2 root 10. Same way PR square and that is going to be 2 minus 3 the whole square plus minus 1 minus 2 the whole square. That is 1 square and 3 square. So that is 1 plus 9. And that is going to be 10. That means PR is equal to root 10. Now let us add up the two numbers that is PQ plus PR that is equal to root 10 plus root 10 and that is equal to 2 root 10 that means PQ plus PR is nothing but QR and therefore P, Q and R are collinear whereas P is between the other two points that is Q and R. We have to show that A, B and C are the vertices of a right angled triangle that is A is 3, 2, B is 5, 8 and C is minus 6, 5. 
What we are going to check is the Pythagoras theorem. So, AB square is 3 minus 5 the whole square plus 2 minus 8 the whole square. 4 plus 36 and that is 40. Similarly, BC square that is minus, sorry, 5 minus minus 6 the whole square plus 8 minus 5 the whole square. And that is going to be 121 plus 9 and that is 130. AC square that is 3 minus minus 6 the whole square plus 2 minus 5 the whole square. And that is going to be 81 plus 9 and that is 90. Now here we can see that AB square plus AC square which is 40 plus 90 that is 130. That is exactly same as BC square. That means AB square plus AC square is equal to BC square indicates that angle A is a right angle in triangle ABC. So obviously the triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. L, M and N are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. We have to show that. And also it is a right angle triangle where L, M and N are given to be 1, 4, 4, 1 and 4, 4. So I am going to check that two sides are equal and also check Pythagoras theorem. So first of all by distance formula we shall find out LM square that is 1 minus 4 the whole square plus 4 minus 1 the whole square. That is 9 plus 9 and that is equal to 18. Similarly MN square 4 minus 4 the whole square plus 1 minus 4 the whole square. 0 plus 9 and that is equal to 9. And lastly LN square 1 minus 4 the whole square plus 4 minus 4 the whole square. 9 plus 0 and that is 9. So here we can see that if mn square is equal to ln square. That means ln should be equal to mn. And that is equal to root 9 which is equal to 3. Therefore, it is an isosceles triangle. Also, if we check that is a Pythagoras theorem. That is mn square plus ln square. 9 plus 9 is 18. Same as lm square. And because of that reason, angle n should be right angle. That means triangle lmn should be a right angle isosceles triangle. P32 and Q7K are given points. The distance between P and Q, that is PQ, is given to be 5. We are expected to find out K. PQ square, because PQ is 5, has to be 25. But PQ square, if I apply Pythagoras, sorry, distance formula, that is 3 minus 7 the whole square plus 2 minus K the whole square. So 16 plus K minus 2 the whole square is equal to 25. So K minus 2 the whole square is equal to 9. Taking 16 on the other side. And what we are getting is k minus 2 is plus or minus 3. Because square root of 9 can be 3 or can be minus 3 also. That means k is equal to 5 or else k is equal to minus 1. Find a point on x axis which is equidistant from a minus 1, 2 and b, 5, 4. Now a point is to be selected on x axis. So the coordinates of any point on x axis should be x comma 0. So let px 0 be the point on x axis equidistant from a and b. That means pa is equal to pb. That means pa square is equal to pb square. Applying distance formula for pa square and also pb square. That is going to give us x minus minus 1 the whole square. That is x plus 1 the whole square. Plus 0 minus 2 the whole square. And same way with pb square x minus 5 the whole square plus 0 minus 4 the whole square. So that is going to give us, when we expand these brackets, that is x square plus 2x plus 1, expanding x plus 1 the whole square. 4 remains as it is, and x minus 5 the whole square, that remains x square minus 2x, 10x plus 25, and 16 remains as it is. x square gets cancelled, and taking the numbers on the other side, we get 12x is equal to 36, therefore x is equal to 3. That means the required point on x axis is what? 3 comma 0. Same way, a point on y axis which is equal distance from points P, 3, 2 and Q, minus 1, minus 5, that is to be found out. Now the point is to be found out on y axis. So the coordinate should be 0 comma y. And therefore, we would say that AP is same as AQ. That means AP square is same as AQ square. AP square 3 minus 0 the whole square. 
plus 2 minus y the whole square. That is p a square. And exactly the same way q a square is minus 1 minus 0 the whole square and minus 5 minus y the whole square. So that gives us 9 plus 4 minus 4y plus y square is equal to 1 because minus 1 the whole square and expansion of this that is 25 plus 10y plus y the whole square. y square gets cancelled. So 14y is equal to minus 13. That means y is minus 13 upon 14. That means the required point on y axis is going to be 0 comma minus 13 upon 14 which is equidistant from given points P and Q. We have to show that A, B, C and D where they are given to be 3, 10, 6, 5, 1, 2 and minus 2, 7 as the vertices of a square. Now you know that all the sides of a square are equal in measure and all the angles or even if I prove only one of the angles is a right angle then also it is proved that it is a square. So A, B square 3 minus 6 the whole square plus 10 minus 5 the whole square. 3 minus 6 is minus 3, the whole square is 9. And 10 minus 5 is 5, so the whole square is 25. So that is 9 plus 25, that is 34. Same way, BC square. 6 minus 1 the whole square, that is 5 square, 25. 5 minus 2 the whole square, that is 3 square, that is 9. 25 plus 9, once again 34. CD square, in the same pattern, 1 plus 2 the whole square, plus 2 minus 7 the whole square, 9 plus 25, 34 once again. So DA square, that is minus 2 minus 3 the whole square, that is 25, plus 7 minus 10 the whole square, that is 9. 25 plus 9, that is 34. So all the sides, AB square, BC square, CD square, DA square are equal. That means AB should be same as BC should be same as CD should be same as DA. Also, let us find out AC square. That is 3 minus 1 the whole square plus 10 minus 2 the whole square. And that is going to give us 2 square that is 4 plus 8 square that is equal to 64. So, 4 plus 64 that is 68. So, AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA and also which is equal to root 34. And also, AB square plus BC square, which is 34 plus 34, 68, which is same as AC square. So, using statement number 1 and 2, all four sides are equal and also, angle B is a right angle. So, that can be only one possibility that these are the vertices of a square. We have to show that P, Q and R, that is 2, 3, 2, 5, 2 plus root 3, comma 4, are the vertices of an equilateral triangle. That means I need to show that PQ is same as QR is same as PR. So, distance formula. PQ and R are given. So, PQ square, 2 minus 2 the whole square, plus 3 minus 5 the whole square. That is 2 square, that is 4. QR square is 2 minus 2 plus root 3 the whole square, plus 5 minus 4 the whole square. That is 2 and 2 gets cancelled, minus of plus root 3, that is minus root 3 the whole square, that is 3. And 5 minus 4 is 1, and 1 square is 1, 3 plus 1, and that is why it is equal to 4. Same way PR square is also going to be 4, because 2 minus 2 plus root 3 the whole square, that is minus root 3 the whole square. And 3 minus 4 the whole square, that is minus 1 the whole square, that is once again 1. So 3 plus 1, that is 4. So all the sides, squares, PQ square, QR square and PR square are what? Equal. That means PQ is equal to QR is equal to PR is equal to what? 2. That means P, Q and R have to be the uh, vertices of an equilateral triangle.